everybody there, it's Andrew Brown, and I had a question that people were asking, how do I get this GitPod button? I can't seem to find it anywhere. Well, uh, that's because you need a Chrome extension for it. So I'm just going to increase the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. This button normally is not here. So the way we can do it, and first, I'm just going to have to uninstall it. Uh, and I know this is hard to see, but if you type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions, you see all your extensions installed. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this extension. I'll say remove. And now if I go back over to, oops, here and I refresh, the button should vanish. Okay, so you're like, I don't have the button. How do I get that button? Well, the way we are going to get that button is by installing the Chrome extension. So I'll make a new tab and go to Google and we're going to type in Chrome extension, or just maybe browser extension, get pod. Right? And we'll go to the first link. And in here, uh, it should have instructions. And so what we're looking for are these two links because if you're using Chrome or Firefox, you can use it. Um, if you're using different browsers that are Chromium based, you can use those too. I'm gonna go over here and click on Chrome. And then we'll go ahead and add it to Chrome. And we'll say add extension. And now you should see this icon at the top. If you're not sure, you go over here to your Chrome forward slash forward slash extensions, and you should see it in here. And there it is. So going back to our first tab, we'll go refresh. And now you have the GitPod button and you click it and you start it up. There's no magic to this button. All this button is doing is adding a link or a URL in front of here. So this is our URL here. Um, I know it's really small. I wonder if I can make it big somehow. Give me a second. I'm gonna try to open up Visual Studio Code. Two seconds here. Hold your horses, it's opening, one second. So I'll just make a, uh, a new window here, a new file, new text file, doesn't matter where. Drag it on out over here. Uh, it's not being, uh, it's not working with me here. I'm just trying to show you a nice big font so that when I do this, you can make it very clear. Uh, I'll just close some tabs here. Okay, there we go. So now we want this URL here. I'm going to grab this here. I'm going to paste it on in here and I'm gonna jack up the font. Okay, great. So this is our URL. This is all GitPod does when you click this button. We'll drag this over. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say copy link address. And we will go here, whoops. And we will paste it on down below. And what we'll do is we'll bring it up and we'll compare the difference. The only difference is that it's putting this thing in front of here, okay? This is in my GitPod course uh, that I linked into the prereqs. So that's all you do. If you have paste, copy and paste this thing in front of there, it will open in GitPod and I'll show you. I'll take this, we'll go back over here. And if I put this in the front here, boom, it starts launching the environment. I had an environment before, that's why it's, it's giving me this message. Um, but yeah, that's all you need. But the easiest thing to do is install the Chrome extension and then you have the GitPod button. We're not covering this in this video, but uh, GitHub Code Spaces is here. Different beast. We're not talking about it here. But yeah, that's how you get the button. Ciao.